I'll make this video as quick as I can. So you either found this video because you're looking at part numbers or you're doing research before you do any work on your headlight level sensor. <laughs> headlight level sensor. I can talk, I promise. Um, anyways, this is super simple. On the new cars, it's all just like press fit on the older cars. Like you can see right here, it bolts on. Um, it's basically like a hip joint, just a ball and socket. If it's super cold where you're at, if you're in North Dakota or up our, our friends up in Canada or Norway, etc., add a little heat and then it'll come off pretty easily. Or do what I did. Change your suspension twice, remember it, and then the third time, forget all about it and break it. So I'm going to show you what I did to fix that real quick and save you some money because I think they're about 250 bucks a pop. My car has one, some cars have three. I'm told DCC, whatever cars, have four. Um, I can't verify that, but, you know, that would add up pretty quick if you did have four and you broke all four. Uh, but if you do that, you should quit working on cars. I'm barely qualified. I'm not qualified. Um, but anyways, we're going to go on under the car and take a look. So here you can see at the back of the car, you can see it's up in there. Ignore the rust. Let's see the Control arm, spring, sway bar, sway bar in link. Right here is your headlight level sensor. And what this does, this has a ball and socket joint, just like your hip, that pivots when you load or unload the car or, you know, what have you for any reason the rear suspension height changes. It levels out your headlights. You can see this screw um, is not original. Normally this just pops off. I would suggest adding a little heat if it's super cold or putting some lube on there and it just pops off. I use like a trim screwdriver. Um, you can see it's nice and flexible plastic when it's decently warm outside. So what we did when the end snapped off is just drilled a hole straight through the center and nutted and bolted it. And uh, for a longer term fix, this is like six months ago, I'm lying to myself now, but um, I'm gonna swap this out for a uh, thread locking nut. So try to get some better views of that. You can see it from this side. When you're doing suspension work, there's really no need to take off the bracket. You just pop that green arm off of the black arm and secure it out of the way with some tape, a zip tie, or just make sure it's safe when you're dropping the control arm down. Um, but really, that was a quick two minute video. I'm not here to waste your time. Just trying to help you out, save you some money. Just drill a hole through it, put a bolt. And if you're wondering, yes, that blue uh, Super Pro sway bar is my favorite mod on the car. If you don't have one, get yourself one. All right, thanks for watching.